Hello friends and welcome to Online Children's Moment. You'll notice I am not Kalissa Bill. Kalissa is preaching today for me and I decided to return the favor and do the children's moment. So we swap places. Kalissa and I want to talk about Advent today and this is the first week of Advent. In case you don't understand what Advent is, I thought I'd take a moment just to explain a little bit. Advent literally means waiting for an arrival. We're waiting for the arrival of the birth of Jesus Christ to celebrate Christmas. That's why Advent is right before Christmas time. And so we celebrate it as a time of waiting and preparing to celebrate the birth of Christ. But it has another meaning and emotion, and emotion associated with it too. Not only are we waiting to celebrate the birth of Christ, something that happened a long time ago, we're also waiting, preparing and waiting for the arrival of Jesus to come again. The Bible tells us that Jesus will come again. And so Advent is a time we recognize both waiting to celebrate the birth of Christ when he came the first time and also preparing and waiting for Jesus to come a second time. Waiting is an interesting thing. Waiting has a couple of different emotions with it. And you maybe have experienced this as you were waiting for like a birthday or a big event to come or even Christmas to come. Waiting can have hope and excitement in it, right? You hope, you're waiting, you're happy, you're excited, you're waiting for Christmas for your birthday. But it can also have some frustration and sadness, especially if it seems to be taking a long, long time. Advent then has two at least two emotions really with it. Two, uh, uh, what we might call a, uh, a bright emotion, happiness, hope, excitement, but also maybe a dark emotion of sadness and frustration because we're waiting so long. Both of those are needed to really get a sense of feel about what waiting is like. I wanted to show you something here that helps me understand a little bit what I'm talking about and how life is full of both Good, or what we call good emotions, happiness and excitement and joy, but also life has its moments of sadness and frustration and loneliness and things like that. And we need both of those to have a complete picture of what life is like and really to um, fully appreciate uh, who Jesus was. We need to understand that life has both of these. So I wanted to show you a picture. Stand a little bit. This right here is a puzzle that my wife is working on. My wife likes doing puzzles. I'm not so much a big fan of puzzles. I wish I were a little bit more because puzzles can be um, a relaxing hobby for people to do. But I just get sometimes a little too frustrated <laughs> because it takes forever to find some pieces. But that's kind of what we were talking about with Advent, isn't it? Advent can have a, a excitement, right? When we're waiting for something good to happen, we're like, we're so excited it's coming, but also frustration because it's taking so long. And Lisa, uh, I'll watch her do these puzzles and she will get, especially when it's a hard one like this, this is a very hard one. She can get so excited when she finds a piece, like the joy. She will even come out of the room and say, hey, I found a piece. She's so excited. But do you know why that excitement is so strong? It's because it took her forever to find a piece and not because it just because of how hard the, the puzzle is. And so the excitement was building up, but also the frustration was building up. And so when she finally found a piece, yay, it was so good. And she was so happy. And this puzzle even explains it a little bit, too. Like, look, this puzzle has dark spots and bright spots, dark and light spots. The puzzle is a picture of the sun. And when you look at the sun close up, you see it has dark spots and it has bright spots. You and I think of the sun as just this big bright spot in the sky, but really when you take a close up, when they have a close up picture of it, you can see it's actually even more dark than it is light. But the full picture is both the dark and the light together. Excitement and sadness and frustration together. My wife appreciates the puzzle more because of the frustration of how hard it is. And I want us to think about it that way too. Life has both 
good, happy emotions, joy, excitement, but also sadness and loneliness and brokenness. You've probably experienced this. Maybe when a friend moved away or a favorite, favorite toy of yours got broken or lost or something like that. Or maybe you experience it when mom and dad are dealing with frustrations and you experience it too. And you know, the truth is, yeah, life has both happiness and sadness, but we need both. We were created, we were made by God to have both bright emotions and dark emotions. And life is full of both bright and dark. And to get the full picture, we need both. Life is full of both. And we can be honest about that uh, life has both dark and bright. And doing so will help us be better friends and neighbors because we can, uh, if we're honest about our own sadness and our own frustrations, then our friends and neighbors will know, hey, this is someone who's honest about life and recognizes that life has both. I can trust them and I can be friends with them. So Advent, I think, helps prepare us to wait, but also to understand both excitement and hope and frustration and sadness. And they both belong. They're both part of the picture, just like this puzzle. All right, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for Advent time. I thank you that we can be honest about the dark and the light. And as we wait in the middle of the dark time of year, winter, for the light of Christ, we experience both excitement and frustration. And it's okay. They both belong. They help us. Um, that that longing, that frustration helps us be even more joyful when uh, the light breaks through. We love you, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.